You know, a lot of people ask me, uh, or they say, you know, show us your collection of knives, okay? And I don't have a gigantic collection. I probably have, for me, my own self, my knives, I don't know, 50 knives. Uh, one of these days I'll get all of my knives together and um, I'll show you my knives, my show knives. I'll get out my blue bag, so to speak. Um, and uh, so anyway, let's look and see. You might want to know what's in the box, okay? So let's move it over just a little bit. So we have this one, okay? And uh, we have a neighbor's dog. All right, so let's put this off to the side. Pull this out. Always keep the, the, the little retainer uh, strap, okay? out of the way with a little finger or something because if your knife is super sharp and you just Whoa. pull it out you will actually cut that piece of leather all right and i pull it out to the back of the sheath a little bit not towards the front that's kind of sticky um so anyway we have this one you got a lot in there let's whip them out all right so let's uh do that let's go to this one Oop, little holster gun knife Okay, like that. Hey, Cabo. Well, you know what? I've never had you do that before. But, uh, I love you too. But you gotta go, come on. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of funny. We're gonna have a mess to clean up down here because there's actually a lot of knives in there. And we have this one. Okay, Ooh. so that's pretty cool. And um, so then we have, ooh, this is old. My gosh, that's actually, oh God, that is thin as a leaf. That was a leather strap, I guess, to put your belt you know, through, something like that. I don't know how old this knife is, but I can tell you right now, that is not a new knife by any means. Um, leather, uh, some kind of an insignia. If you know what that is, where it's from, let me know. Uh, Okay, that is really cool. A lot of handwork on there. Now, look at that. Let's, let's really get a, a close-up of that. All right. I didn't look at but is it a lion's head or something? Yep, actually it is a lion's head. That might be from India. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh my gosh, I wish I knew the story behind that thing. Or maybe I don't. Maybe a lot, you know. Um, so let's see here. Okay, we got that one. This is, again, this is the uh, Chippewa uh, cutlery. Okay, so Chippewa cutlery on that one. And we got uh, Super Knife, okay, best quality, good uh, marketing, you know. Oh, okay. Um, and that's... We've done they, a video on that knife. Yeah, we did. I don't know why they did that. That's crazy. Jesus, that is pure stupidity. No offense intended. I wonder if it's meant to be on a sheath that when you pull the sheath, it well, catches it. Well, it's so it. guarded by, by these, uh, you know, and, and that's that's okay, I guess, but it isn't the way I'd have done it. All right, so we do that. That's really actually a pretty cool knife. I like that knife, if we could just get it open better. And then we have what's called the Invisible Man knife. Okay, so that's... Uh, I'm not going to take, I don't want to scratch it, so we won't take that invisible man knife out of there. All right, so we're going to have one of these, all right. Well, that's pretty cool. cool. It's like a little sword, um, you know, like a custer, you know, like that, okay. And we'll let you read it, look at it for a second. Okay, it's, it's got a really cool handle. It's got your fist guard there. So if you're a fighting man, you know, you punch him, then you slam him, you come back in, yeah. What not? That's actually a pretty cool knife. Um, so let's look here. We have, ooh, okay, another Probo. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you just push on that. This little tang drops down. Now it's stuck. Now it's released. Okay, it says uh, stainless. It's China. It says right on it. A hold still. That's actually a really pretty cool knife. This is uh, probably brass. Uh, it would be easy to cast and easy to make. The mold for that would not have been easy to make. And of course the sheath, 
is all decorated, you know, sort of the same way. So that's pretty cool. All right, and let's put it back in the right way, like that. All right, and then we have, it's kind of a boot knife affair. Um, the piece that held it is gone. Uh, it's, that's a stabber, that's a, actually that one is so fine a point you could really use it to pick stickers with. That that really gets a hold of your skin. All right, and uh, too too small, can't read it. Um, stand, it's we just, get in on it. What do we got? Okay, let, let's see. Frost cutlery with an eagle. Okay, frost. No wonder it kind of felt cold in my hand. All right. That one, a lot more to come. Well, a few, 10, 9. All right, that's good. So whoever collected these actually liked buying this style of knife, and it's from the Chippewa cutlery. All right, so let's see. That one and this one are a lot alike. A little bit different handle, but they're the same design, uh, basically. Well, you know what, they're not. This one's got the drop down on it, that one doesn't. This one's got the lines cut in it, that one doesn't. This has got a rounded hole there, that one does not. So actually, in a way, you know, the big curve on the blade, but they're a lot the same. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right. They're cousins. They're cousins, yeah. They're, they're not real distant cousins, but they are cousins. Okay. Remember to keep the little thin leather out of the way. Slide that in there like that. Boy. All right. What do we have? We got an old uh, shrade. So that's an old good knife. That's a shrade. That got carried probably for quite a while because it does have a lot of uh, evidence that it was against your pants and stuff. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I'd love to. That, that's a cool knife. Okay, it's really got a good spring in it. It locks back here. Okay, you push that down. All right. I'll uh, hold. Uh, let me hang on just a second. There's something written. Okay, it would be this way in really fine detail. Can you read it? Uncle Henry? Yeah, Uncle Henry. Schrade Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry. Yeah, that was a merger, Uncle Henry and That's a, That's Knight, old Hank. You know, um, and so that's, uh, I don't even know, but there's a possibility that that knife would go for a couple of hundred uh, in today's market, depending on the age. You know, knives can fool you. They can go for, yeah, $50, $60 up to seven, eight hundred to a thousand, eleven hundred dollars Depending on the, the age of the knife, who made it, uh, the rarity of it, how many they made, the condition of the knife. This is really in good condition. It's been in that sheath for years. And it looks to me, it has been sharpened, but not very much. Uh, close to the factory edge is still on there. So that's actually, I, I'd like to have that. <laughs> I really would. Um, it's sweet. That is a sweet, that's also like a fist pack. Right yeah. Well, Judge, he, he hit me with his knife, but he patted the knife with his knuckles. Then he stabbed me with his fingers. Yeah, then he stabbed me in the eye with his finger, you know. Okay, so what do we got in here? Oh, that's, oh. Oh, it had babies. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Would you look at that? You spawned it. You spilled water on that? Okay, I, I must have. Okay, so, all right, uh, tree, tree brand. <laughs> And it's got a little tree, it's got three blades. That's probably quite a knife in its day, actually. So we have, the I think they call it a sheep's foot. Okay, that one. So we got two about the same. I, oh, hell, it's got four blades in it. Now, I'm gonna do something that I tell people never do. <laughs> Don't open these while that one's open because if you slip, your hand's probably gonna slide right down that blade. And it's not real sharp, but I am gonna be more careful. So we actually control the blades like that, turn it over, put my hands against my leg so that nothing actually slips. And that kind of locks in that position. So that's an old four bladed knife. It's called Tree, T-R-E-E -E brand. Okay. 
Well, that's, I don't think I've ever seen those. All right. Um, and then this little guy is in there. Ooh, that's actually a really cool little knife. And in the sun, you get on on it. Uh, let me get it to where I don't know if that's right side up or upside down. Get it silver. Let me see what I'm looking at here. Okay, there we go. Silver Knight. Oh! <laughs> Silver, Silver Knight, Knight Japan. Oh, Japan. Oh, that's, that's a Japanese steel knife right yeah, there. Yeah, oh my. I'll tell you what. Look. Let me get my shirt. My dog's already got my shirt dirty and stuff. That is the most finely polished, yeah, that, beautiful that blade. That is fantastic. Holy cow. That is, that is probably a reasonably expensive little knife. It was pretty. Jamie. Oh my God, that is just like a mirror. <laughs> that really actually kind of hurt the sun right in your eyes. That's pretty cool. That'd be another little keeper that you might carry in your, oh boy, I'll tell you what. That point is like a needle. Wow. All right, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, then we got the little uh, the little green knife. Careful you don't cut yourself. Yeah. All right. That's actually really cool. Um, it's a cool little knife. Okay, so let's do that. Jerry, what'd you say his name was? Jerry Smith. Jerry Smith. Uh, kind of a lifetime collection of mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, I, I believe it says China on it, naturally. But uh, that's a really cool little knife. It's going to put it on your keychain, you know, maybe around your uh, neck. Because you can open boxes, paper, string, tape. You could open, you know, things like that. That's actually a very usable knife, even though there's no cutting edge on it. So that's actually pretty cool. It's got a good spring in it. All right, so we put these back. Okay. I, I Put your hands against yourself if you don't want to slip. That way, nothing can actually just move fast all right and don't just let them snap shut because boy i'll tell you those have got some serious springs in it that's a really cool knife actually it'd be fun to take some of these knives uh to the gun shows that's what i'll do at some point and uh find people who are really up i actually know one guy in particular oh there's another one of those invisible man knives but we gotta call him yeah i can't find his number and uh there's another invisible man knife. Okay. Well, what is going on here? Okay. Well, just cheese that he collected. All right. Then we have uh, some sort of a water bottle, hand grenade. It's got a clip on it. Uh, it's got to be a knife. Going on with the phone there. It's getting hot. Okay, like that. This. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a little heavy. It's got a good handle on it. All right, and let's put it back together. Oh, well, the clip is in the way for, I can't, I can't. I think it says the same thing on the other side. Yeah, oh, okay. So let's do this. <laughs> for water only, <laughs> okay. Uh, kind of cool. And geez, we got a lot of them. You okay. Said, well, okay, okay, That's okay. actually, okay, now this is, uh, it's an Uncle Lucky, uh, distributed by Fr Frost Cutlery. Oh, another okay. Frost, okay. Yeah, another Frost. Oh, you gotta turn it upside down. Yeah, and it says Uncle Lucky on it, so it's probably uh, an old, uh, an old Henry-ish type knife commemorative one of a kind kind of a deal all right that's really cool I'll hold still so you can look at it all right so that's pretty cool and it's got three blades on it and that's that's actually a good knife that would be a good knife to carry I don't think there'd be anything wrong with that knife at all all right probably a, a good steel kind of a good quality knife all right we got this one What's in it? What's in it? Okay. Ooh. 
It's got an E and a B, and it's, uh, oh, Beaver Creek knives. Beaver Creek knives, okay. So I don't think I've got, ooh, wow. That's actually a really cool knife. Uh, so let's open two. That's actually a really cool knife, and I'm gonna get it in the sun so you can see. Yeah, it's probably a, I don't know, it could be a 50, 60, 80 dollar knife. I have no idea. Some of these are se seven to 12, 15 dollars, and they look fantastic. Some of them are 70, 80, or 100, 120. My God, you know, I don't even know. It could be a 200, 300 dollar knife. I don't know who Beaver Creek is. Um, and that it, it's uh, it's got a B with a C around it, so Beaver Creek. But I can't read the the fine print. It is just Beaver Creek with a symbol. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, the little tiny writing is Beaver Creek with the symbol with a B and a C. Okay, that's cool. That's a really cool knife. I like that knife. Never been carried, never been used. I doubt it's ever been sharpened by looking at the cutting edges. So don't let them snap shut. Hold on to them like that. I, I don't let the knives. I see people, they just let them snap shut. You know, I just don't believe in doing that. It's got to be hard. Don't knives. dry fire. Don't dry fire them, you'll, you'll ruin the firing pin. Okay, so let's put that back in there. That's a really cool knife. That'd be a, a fun carry. An interesting knife, kind of a dress knife. Okay, bear and bull trapper. Okay, trapper is the style of knife. Bear and bull is the manufacturer. This is also uh, frost cutlery, okay? And so they have a bear and a bull Boop. having a conversation there. <laughs> All right, that's and, the stock market right there. Yeah, and this is actually Baron Bull, which is BB, could be Brad Buckner. Number, if you want to go look them up, Baron Bull BB-519CBH. Who knows? Uh, leave us a comment. Uh, look them up and maybe see what year and everything. It's uh, it, it's a five-inch handle. It's closed. The knife is five inches long. So it would be the five-inch knife. All right. And uh, so we have. Uh, you got to another... comment below. Which of these knives is your favorite? Yeah, is your favorite. Okay. Yeah. And um, so it could be. <laughs> it could be this one, all the way up to. Wow. This one. You even color coordinated. I like it. <laughs> and they're both green. That's funny. Just like that. Okay, and again, this is Chippewa cutlery. Uh, it's called a hunting knife Chippewa cutlery. All right, we got about a minute or two left. That's it. All right. Wow, that's actually that's actually quite a knife. Um, that would be bears to branches, limbs to lions. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is Brad Buckner. That's what's in the box. Uh, come back with a comment and tell us which one is your most favorite. And um, who knows, maybe I'll send you a round poker chip. Uh, let's put it this way. The first 10 people to tell me we're going to take those 10, write it on a piece of paper, each one, put it in a hat, okay, shake it up, draw one out, and you're going to get a round poker chip sharpener. Only the first 10, so hurry up and be part of the first 10. This is Brad Buckner, SharpenerFest.com, Denver, Colorado. We'll see you later.